uh, parts of the mountains along with Queen City dealing with the remnants of the storm that moved through yesterday. Meteorologist Ted Fayton here with a look at what we can expect for our weekend. Good yeah. morning, Ted. Good morning, and Wyatt, we know we were just talking about the storms pushing through the upstate of South Carolina into our region this morning. The northern track of these storms is something to watch out for as they're moving pretty quickly. And when you factor in the gust of winds ahead of these storms and how fast they're moving, they kind of work hand in hand for making some very breezy and gusty conditions out there, which can be dangerous, especially for the Halloween decorations that are out and about. We're watching the cluster of storms that's over here down, pushing up towards Hickory, Lincolnton, timing that out for you. Double shoals. If you guys are if you guys are waking up, you're about a minute to two minutes away from the brunt of this heavy downpour, probably getting it as we speak. Cherryville, 632. So you're looking at another 20 minutes before that comes in overhead. We're going to hold on to that in terms of Hickory getting the rain overhead by 7 o'clock this morning. We are watching as we're not done with the wet weather quite yet. The system, the area of low pressure just pushing towards uh, Tennessee, having that counterclockwise rotation of that moisture coming in from the south, which is giving us those scattered showers and those fast moving uh, pockets of heavy downpours, as well as the embedded storms. So timing things out here, getting into your afternoon, you see some isolated showers widely scattered by nature, and then the cloud cover starts to increase for your evening. We're going to hold on to those rain chances for your overnight, especially along the Tennessee border where the higher elevations can hold on to some of that rain for overnight into your Saturday. Saturday will usher in more cloud cover as well as some about a 20% chance of rain. And we're not going to see too many impressive rain totals here anywhere between a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch between now and Sunday when everything's said and done. So again, the fast moving storms working in our favor in terms of not having the flood concerns with them. And we are going to hopefully stay more dry than wet, which is perfect for anyone wanting to to head out to Atrium Health Ballpark tomorrow morning with 51 degrees as your walk to and Alzheimer's is going to be cloudy and a little chilly and our very own Ann Wyatt will be out there hosting that event for you. We're in the low 60s to upper 50s as we get your morning started. So pretty mild as we get the day underway and we're not going to be bumping up too much, only going about three or four degrees highs in the low to mid 60s for your afternoon. We're going to hold on to those comfortable conditions and then as we get into Halloween, upper 60s and then pleasant conditions start off next week. Jason.